It's a bit of a bad news is uh, Oliver Larik and Alexandra Domanovic had to cancel due to uh, uh, Oliver flu. fallen ill, which is not so nice. Um, but as you may have noticed, last night there was an artist presentation planned at the evening program, which we easily could transfer to this afternoon. So uh, Albert Figured will do his artist presentation in this session and the extra artist presentation of uh, Constant Delart, which was focusing on his uh, practice as a curator, so not as, a, as, a, as his artist practice, will be presented now. So uh, the work to Constant. Hello. Um, so my name is uh, Constant Dullard. It's my real name. I, if anybody wants to see it, I can have my passport with me. So please don't have any comments on uh, blogs that say like, no, it must be a pseudonym because it's really my real name. Um, but I do myself make uh, continuous uh, boring art. But that I will show later. And now quickly I will go through, um, through a, a set of works of friends. Actually, there's all, all these friends are people that I met through Delicious. And um, uh, well, yeah, Delicious, the bookmarking website. And then actually I started curating several shows because of this. Because I thought it was great that artists got to know each other while staying at home. So I think it's a great opportunity for people that don't leave the house that often to still uh, network and to like kind of uh, expand on uh, different languages than the social languages. Um, and I'll show a few clips and a few examples of what this group of people have been doing recently. And it's kind of the overall name that I kind of chose for it is contemporary semantics because I try to see how the development of kind of new image languages uh, is like apparent in their works. So the first example is uh, Chris Coy, who is uh, actually a Mormon from uh, the Mormon that I was talking about uh, yesterday. Um, and he's a really nice guy, but he made this, uh, which I thought was awesome work, which is the Caesar upskirt. So he was uh, traveling in Europe for the first time in his life. And then he uh, decided to put the form of the upskirt. So the first introduction picture, like most of the time, the upskirt works. Upskirt is this idea of like having a photograph of a girl, but then from underneath and just seeing her crotch. And uh, but he applied it to uh, through Caesar. But then just to, I thought it was funny that in the simplest form, just the introduction of the girl and the introduction of the beaver shot. So it just I thought that was a nice uh, thing to do. And then there's Joel Holmberg, also one of the people uh, that's very active on uh, Nasty Nets, nastynets.com, which is like this uh, group that kind of profiled themselves as, uh, or is now being profiled as pro surfers. But um, I think it's like uh, people that are very aware of the campiness of, uh, of content, of trashy content on uh, the web nowadays. So he made a booty shake out of the sound program. Hold on. And then Dennis Knopf and his uh, kind of his pseudonym, which is uh, he does have a pseudonym, is uh, Tracky Birthday. Also very uh, um, active in this uh, same kind of generation. <laughs> So what he what he did in this video is that he um, he took all the booty shake videos off of YouTube and he took the moments where the girl would put on the music. So you just get a look into their rooms and kind of their so it becomes kind of or for me it became cute because it becomes this kind of anthropological view in in all these rooms and it just and all the action is taken out. So 
actually really weird to hear that with such soft sound, but... And that was actually nice, that was the flash frame that he used to incorporate it on YouTube because if you put the poster frame, kind of if you put one frame in the middle, then that's the frame that will show up as the thumbnail for the clip. So I actually did have to do that, so there's actually one frame of ass in the video. Anyway, I'll continue. To Dem Zucconi, I liked it that uh, my computer didn't like his last name.
Uh, those were uh, the titles of uh, Superman, but uh, without the titles and purely the effects. Um, now we'll show Mark work by Martijn Hendricks, um, in which he collected uh, the comments on, of a certain uh, quite important video of last year. So all the co yeah, so all the comments, and probably you will guess which video it is.
Um, so that was uh, the video of, um, well, the comments on the video of the hanging of uh, Saddam Hussein. And I thought it was actually really nice to see how uh, mostly technical details were discussed. Um, and so all these videos were kind of uh, based on the emphasis on, <coughs> on effects. Um, I tried to uh, stabilize uh, the earthquake in Sichuan, China in 2008. And this was uh, actually one of the first pieces of footage that came out after the earthquake. And uh, the thing I actually really liked is the comments I got because I posted it as a comment back on YouTube. And the comments that I got was that it was, uh, first of all, people didn't agree with uh, the fact that I made a work out of uh, a disaster that killed uh, 100,000 people or over 100,000 people. But actually the original uploader uh, said that it was really nice work. But I thought it was nice that this kind of new possibilities of all these tools give, on the one hand, give the opportunity to take the earthquake out of the earthquake, and on the other hand, they can take the, they just transfer the movement onto the canvas instead of the image. I'll skip this one, that will come later. Actually, this is me trying to uh, fit in to uh, group pictures on uh, Google, uh, on Flickr actually. So um, I actually saw it after a while as like uh, the internet community or actually all the people there. And I projected them through a green screen so I could try to fit in. Um, and actually this is the moment where I do fit in. And it takes quite a while to go to the next video, but therefore I will skip it and I will show it later. Uh, Harm van den Dorpel did something nice where he um, hacked a piece of software which was called uh, Giazu, which is just a piece of software that just takes a quick screen grab and gives it a URL and uh, which uploads it immediately. And he hacked that so it would be sent to his server and he would collect of different artists, so me but also a lot of other people would combine into kind of an image research. So this is the result if you would look at the page. So it's basically just really like a kind of almost a aesthetical research into, into like experiment sketches, but also found imagery. And now he's working on uh, the video version of it. So it's nice that actually he makes a new version, which is, the, which is this one. So he took all these images that are collected by these groups of people as kind of inspirational pictures. Um, 
Uh, I will conclude it with this because we will all sque squeeze it together in uh, the one time that is uh, left open by uh, Oliver and Alexander. Um, do you want to announce? Uh, Yeah, I can finish it like this. Uh, thank you, Constant.